All right, YouTube, we're back again. Uh, I had a question the other day about uh, my last Sifu. Uh, so I, currently, I'm under Syed and Mod of uh, Ryan and Ryan Parmalee under Eternal Spring Martial Arts. Look up their website, eternalspringmartialarts.com. They're my uh, Wing Chun brothers, they're fantastic. Um, I left my second Sifu after the, did the issue of height came up. He was extremely tall compared to me. I'm only five foot seven. And one particular drill that we had was some people call this wrist to wrist. Q Sao, Choi Sao, you've seen it in Enter the Dragon. It's a sensitivity drill where we kind of learn to bridge the distance between point A and point B. It's a safe starting point. Instead of starting out here, we start out here. And in one of the contexts of where I started to sit there and say that, you know, where I learned that Wing Chun wasn't a defensive art, which we're, we're all led to believe it's an offensive art, but a lot of us play defense on it, was a particular entry of Lop Sao where Matt pulls me in on Lop Sao, the shift, and then he punches at me. So you're gonna square up a little bit better, Okay, square up with me. Good. And you're going to lop sow me into you, pull me into you, and punch right at my face. And my job is except with a bong sow. You're theoretically supposed to learn the sensitivity to where I'm supposed to be so relaxed, and a good Wing Chun guy, as he lops in, pulls in, can step in and pick that up. Well, if you look at this, the issue I had with this back then was the fact that this is a defensive concept. The Wing Chun is not defensive. And I kept getting my ass kicked. I get popped in the mouth every time. You lop and pull me down a lot. How do you wind up defending against that? You cannot, a good lop style comes up, cannot wind up popping that elbow up. It's anatomically not possible because your arm is all the way out here. So I thought, I'm shorter, I'm smaller. Um, I have to get in, and Wing Chun is an offensive art based on attacking. So what's the most logical thing to do when somebody's engaged on something? He pulls in, punch, step in and punch. So, real briefly, my beginning to understanding Wing Chun as far as an attacking came several, attacking art, came several years into my training to where I stopped being obsessed with the flashiness of the art, to where a man will punch, and I go, bomb, and he comes up, oh, look at this, I got a lock, chop, punch there, punch, punch, punch. It's the punch. The center line punch in Wing Chun is essential for everything. The Yuma that we put into it, that shift, that elbow energy, that power with the step, coming in and driving it in. That is going to be what we're looking for in everything. That first punch has got to be everything to bridge the gap between us and them, and then where our Wing Chun lies. So again, if you're training Wing Chun, one movement is better than three. So when you think about it, that punches, instead of one, two, three, why not he punches? One. It's got to be your Wing Chun. If it's not enough, come in for another one. Come in for another one. Your punches have got to have those power on them. Hey, so just a question someone asked me as far as, you know, what's been the history of my uh, lineage and my sequence I came from. Uh, it's on my website, www.izotacticalcombat.com. You can see my lineage and my history in Wing Chun. And uh, that's my thought on that. Thanks so much. We'll see you on the next video.